Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smasher Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take a few seconds and talk about something I feel very passionate about, and that is Brian Ferguson's Bumps and Thumps podcast. You're available on YouTube and any other outlet where you can get your podcasts from. Brian Ferguson interviews several former AWA stars, Greg Gagne, Derek Dukes, and many, many others. Take a trip back in time to the AWA's glory days with Brian Ferguson on Bumps and Thumps. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Real World Chronicles. This is All Elite Wrestling, and tonight we are recording the hour-and-a-half show, Dark Elevation. That's right, everybody. Elevation is back and ready to be recorded. And when we did the reset, we kept Elevation at its original settings, which is for an hour-and-a-half. And when I look it up on YouTube, sometimes the show is indeed an hour-and-a-half. So, hey. Why not leave it that way? Tonight, we are in the New England region in Providence, Rhode Island, and we are recording two shows at the Fate Music Hall. Fetty, maybe the Fetty Music Hall, Fete Music Hall, whatever music hall. It's in Providence, Rhode Island, and it's where we're going to do our recordings. Obviously, for this episode, we are only going to record Elevation because it is a very long show. Let's take a look at our absent workers, and it's nothing but whom we expect not to be here are backstage incidents. Taz is probably getting given some protege tips to Powerhouse Hobbs, and he is, and Emi Sakura and Riho are doing their thang. That's right, I called it a thang. Let's take a look at our card for this evening, everybody. We are going to see Dralistico in singles action. We are going to see a tag team match consisting of top flight. Kip Sabian and Ortiz will also be in singles action. The Acclaimed is going to be here tonight, everybody, in Providence, Rhode Island. We're going to see that monster powerhouse Hobbs in singles action. Daniel Garcia and Eddie Kingston will be on the card. We're going to see a tag team match with Soraya and Tony Storm. And in our main event, everybody, and it is a big main event, Wardlow will challenge Samoa Joe for that world television title. Everybody, you know what time it is. I know what time it is. Let's get to booking. And here we go. Morales versus Dralistico in the opener. And I've told you before, I like Dralistico and I'm trying to find him a notch in our show. And he does fit into our junior heavyweight division very well. And here we go. Here is Dralistico. And Dralistico, of course, is going to get the win here, everybody, and continue his winning ways here in AEW. Up next, we have the Young Bucks cutting a promo. And this one's going to go six minutes. The Young Bucks are in a feud with the Lucha Brothers. So we are going to have Matt Jackson. And Nick Jackson. They're going to talk to Jimmy Smith. And they are going to talk about Penta and Phoenix. Here is Ray Phoenix. 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 However it's pronounced, I try, everybody. Uh, I don't know if I told you this story before, but about seven years ago, I was convinced I was going to learn Spanish, right? So, I 
went through all the YouTube videos, I had a notebook, and I practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced every Saturday for like two or three months. And you know what I got out of all that practice? Very little. I just could not crack the code and finish out the la- fin- figure out the language. And I really tried, everybody. All right, here is Brian Danielson. And he's cutting a promo on MJF. I really think if I'm going to learn Spanish, I'm going to have to be immersed in the culture where my brain is forced to adapt. That's how I seem to learn best, and I think that's what it would take. But uh, just so you know, I tried. I tried really hard. All right, Danielson's talking to Jimmy Smith, and of course he's talking about that dirty, no good MJF. MJF's off screen. Brian Danielson is based on entertainment. That one, everybody, is in the books. Terrell Hughes and Treehouse Lee. Treehouse Lee is an awesome name. I'm tempted to sign this guy just because of his name. Here's Hughes and Lee versus Top Flight. Here is Terrell Hughes. And there he is. Here's Treehouse Lee. What the heck? Where's Treehouse Lee? Uh Uh-oh. We got a problem here, everybody. Treehouse Lee is not listed. Now, we're going way back here because I know I signed Treehouse Lee. Oh, I guess I didn't. All right, there we go. Now we got Treehouse Lee. Whew, I feel much better, everybody. I was really worried there. All right, <laughs> here's Hughes and Lee versus Top Flight. They're going to go three minutes. Here is Terrell Hughes. Here is our man, Treehouse Lee. Look at this guy. Oh, he looks awesome. He looks awesome. Treehouse Lee. That is a great name. Here is Top Flight, and Top Flight is going to get the win, of course, here, everybody. And Darius Martin is going to get the win for his team. This one is booked. Up next, we have a lot more to go here. Jesus Rodriguez Rodriguez versus Kip Sabian. And here we go, Rodriguez. And I have heard, I've had Puerto Rican friends that say Rodriguez or Rodriguez as Rodriguez, which is per, per correct, everybody, or is it just a, is it just an accent, accent thing? Let me know if you speak Spanish. Here's Jesus Rodriguez, and here is our man, Kip Sabian. A lot of people don't like Kip Sabian. I think he's all right. Kip Sabian with the W here, everybody. He continues his winning ways here in AEW. Anthony Green is going to be up next against Ortiz. Three minutes. Anthony Green, that is not Lee. All right, here is Anthony Green. Here is our man Ortiz. And Ortiz is going to get the W here. This one is in the books. I believe we've got a promo up next. We do. The Acclaimed are going to cut a promo. Are they in a storyline? They are not. We did not put them in the story. Yeah, they are with the guns. Never mind. All right. So we have Anthony Bowens and Max Caster. There he is. There's Max Caster. They're going to talk to Jimmy Smith. And they're going to be talking about Austin Gunn and Colton Gunn. There he is. There's Colton Gunn. So we have entertainment, entertainment, off screen, off screen. And we have the acclaimed do a. Yeah, let's change it up for once. Do a promo on the guns. All right. Of course, they are talking to Jimmy Smith. That one's booked. 
Up next, we have Cassidy Riley and Eric Young against the acclaimed. So Riley and Young versus the acclaimed. Here is Cassidy Riley. Here is Eric Young. There's our team, the acclaimed. All right, we're going to have Caster get the win here. In case you notice, yes, indeed, that is Eric Young, who was an indie sensation for many years. Good wrestler. All right, this one's booked. Chris Jericho is now going to cut a promo on Ricky Starks. All right, and Jericho's going to talk to Jimmy Smith about the situation. Here is Chris Jericho. Here's Jimmy Smith. And he's talking about that Ricky Starks, the man that needs protein powder, dumbbells, and cheeseburgers. All right, that one's all set. Up next. We have Bobby Flaco or Bobby Flacco. I think it's Flaco. He is going to get mauled by Powerhouse Hobbs. So here we go. Here is Bobby. Done some work for us before. And here is Powerhouse Hobbs. And again, it is not going to go well for old Bobby Flaco. And Aubrey Edwards will not be refereeing this match. All right, that one's in the books, except that I screwed up and did not make it an enhancement match. There we go. Now we got that one figured out. All right, up next. Now we had a promo, and I clicked... We have Daniel Garcia cutting a promo. And Jack Perry. I don't see I don't see it with Daniel Garcia, everybody. I do not. And he does horrible promos. Um I tried. I've tried keeping an open mind. I just I, I don't see it with this guy. And I don't know what anybody else sees. I, I don't think he's that good in the ring. Um I don't think he has a good look, and I think his promos are awful. But he's in AEW, so we're going to keep him going here and keep trying. And we actually have Eric Young pitching in, doing some road agent work for us here. All right, Jake Atlas against Daniel Garcia is up next. And uh, what is this? What is going on here? It's got all screwed up. All right. I clicked the wrong thing here. And here we go. Atlas versus Garcia. Three minutes. Here's Jake Atlas. He's done some work for us before. Here is Daniel Garcia. He's also done some work for us before. Daniel Garcia is going to get the W here, everybody. He's got to shave that diamond off his chest. He's got to. It looks horrible. All right, up next, Blake Cortez is going to face Eddie Kingston. Three-minute bout. Here we go, Cortez versus Kingston. Here is Eddie Kingston plugged in. Kingston, of course, is going to get the win. It's going to come by that, what we used to call a discus punch, although he does it backwards. All right, this one is in the books. Up next here, we have Soraya and Tony Storm. They're going to cut a promo. And remember, in our save, they are still baby faces. This double switch has not happened. And the double switch should not have happened. Britt Baker was a great heel. The switch should have come when Jamie Hayer 
turned face on Baker. That's when the switch is going to come. All right, they're talking to Jimmy Smith here, everybody. And where is he? Where's Jimmy Smith? There's Jimmy Smith. And they are talking about Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter, the reigning world women's title holder with that giant belt that if she put it on would probably go up to her armpits. All right, here we go. This one is in the books. That'll keep those feuds going red hot. And we have Jesse Elabon and Steph Delander versus Soraya and Storm. Uh, we can do any. Shit. Made a mistake there. All right, here we go. So once again, since I got distracted there, we have Elabon. And Delander versus Soraya and Storm. Three minute bout. Here is Steph Delander. And it should have been Delander and Elabon. Elabon's first name is Jesse. I know a Jesse spelled the same way. Good woman. All right, and they are taking on. Soraya and Storm. All right, we will give the win to Tony Storm here. She needs it. And of course, this is a three-minute enhancement match. Let's make sure that Aubrey Edwards gets the work on this one. There we go. I like women managers. I'm sorry, women referees with women matches. I like ma male referees with male matches. Call me crazy. I just like it. All right, Samoa Joe is going to cut a promo here. This is going to go six minutes. And, of course, he's cutting that promo on Wardlow. So here is Samoa Joe. He's talking to Jimmy Smith. He's talking about Wardlow. Here comes entertainment off screen. This one is in the books. Here comes our big main event, everybody. And it is Wardlow versus Samoa Joe. That world television title is on the line. All right, here is Wardlow. I never realized he was that old. I wonder how long he's been wrestling for. Here is Samoa Joe, because he is green as grass. I did know Samoa Joe was that old. All right, check this out, everybody. we got an interesting situation here, all right? This is a hot feud. So regular people that are fans of AEW, the majority of them are not watching the B-Shows. They're not watching the stuff on YouTube, okay? What better way to create some buzz than to have a title change? And it's a title change that ends up happening anyway, and we know what kind of a mess that uh, title situation is now. But we are going to do the title change here on Elevation, and we are going to get some buzz about Elevation and the B-Shows due to this match. All right, so here we go. This one is booked, and we can make this top match five minutes longer, and we're going to. So here we go. We're ready to go here, everybody. Wardlow and Samoa Joe in the main event for the world television title. We're going to start this one. Here we go. Dralistico gets the win with that incineration knee. Big move. The Jacksons, also known as the Young Bucks, cut their promo. And this is totally in the wrong venue. I forgot to save the venue. Oh, boy. What are you going to do? <laughs> Here we go. Brian Danielson cuts a promo on MJF. 78 overall, everybody. We have Hughes and Treehouse Lee. Yeah, Treehouse <laughs> against Top Flight. And Darius Martin gets the win for his team here, everybody. A treehouse was off his game. We got lots of green, 39 for this match. Rodriguez against Sabian here, and Sabian gets the win with that springboard drop kick. 34 overall for these two. Up next, we got Anthony Green and Ortiz, 50 overall. Ortiz gets a 59 on his own here, which is not bad. 
We have the acclaimed cutting a promo. They get a 61 talking with that Jimmy Smith. Lots of green all over the place here. The acclaimed is up and coming, everybody. Cassidy Riley and Eric Young battle the acclaimed. They come up on the short side of the stick as the acclaimed get the win with a 41. 49 and 54, 46 and 20 leaves us with a 41 overall. Lots of green here. Lots of green. Up next, Chris Jericho cuts a promo on Ricky Starks. Gets an 83 for that promo. And that feud gains heat. Bobby Flaco or Flacco, he falls victim to powerhouse Hobbs frog splash here. 36 overall, and Hobbs continues his winning ways. Here we go, Daniel Garcia and Jimmy Smith. We got a 41 overall for this promo, uh, but it does gain heat, so that's a good sign. Daniel Garcia is not good on the microphone, and he's really not that good in the ring. Jake Atlas battles Daniel Garcia. We've seen Atlas before. He's a good wrestler. Garcia gets the win with that sharpshooter, 55. Overall, 55 for him individually, 45 overall for the match. Blake Cortez against Eddie Kingston here. Kingston gets the win with that blackout lariat, 44 overall. So that's what he calls it, that backwards punch he does. All right, the ladies, Soraya and Tony Storm cut a promo here. They only get a 59. It advances the storyline, but that's not that great of a promo for two ladies that are supposed to have some big star power. All right, even worse is their match here as... A 41 is all that is scored here as Storm and Soraya battle DeLander and Elaban. 59 and a 51 for Soraya and Storm. Not a good match. All right, Samoa Joe cuts his promo, and this one has a pretty weak score too. Samoa Joe is underpowered in this mod. I'm not going to change it because I don't want to hear, Bridgewick cheats! I don't want to hear it. So I'm not going to change it, but Samoa Joe is underpowered. The man is good on the microphone and can cut a dead serious, real good promo. All right, here comes our big main event, everybody. And Wardlow is once again the AEW World Television Champion. He beats Samoa Joe with that Splash Mountain powerbomb. 58 overall for the match. Their feud continues. We're going to finish this show up. We get a 67 overall, which is good. That's what we've been hitting about, and uh, we're looking good. All right, obviously, we're going to set up the screen here for Dark Next. This is going to do it for our show here, everybody, in the accidental arena that I chose. So for those of you that are looking for us on social media, you can find us on Facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 Superbot. You can also find us over on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW 2020 Friends. And don't forget, we're also on Discord. 1987 Supermod is where we can be found on Discord. Make sure to check out Wrestling Fans International Association, everybody. The WFIA.org slash join. That's right. Join. It's free and you get a free subscription to our upcoming publication, Wrestling Fans News, which will drop on April 1st. And don't forget, everybody, if you want these shows early and YouTube ad-free, you can join us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Powercast Network. For just $5, you get access to these shows early and ad-free. You will get access to the 1987 Supermod. You will get access to all of our spreadsheets, and you will get access to all of our bonus shows. There is even more than that, everybody. So check it out today, patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.